In this video, we'll see a couple of examples of how to solve logarithmic equations. And when we say logarithmic equations, we're specifically talking about equations that have logarithms in them, not equations that we can solve using logarithms. So let's look at this example. We've got the log base 10 of 2x minus the log base 10 of x minus 3 equals 1. Now, you'll see this typically in a lot of these kinds of equations where we've got multiple logarithms in the equation. So the first thing that we want to do is try to combine those logarithms together into one logarithm, and we're going to do that using log rules. So what you might remember from your knowledge of log rules is that when you have two logs, one log minus another log, the log rule we want to use here is that the difference of two logs is the log of the first thing divided by the log of the second thing. So we've got the log base 10 of 2x divided by x minus 3 equals 1. So I didn't do something to both sides there. What I did is I used a log rule to rewrite the expression on the left-hand side. Now I have a single logarithm, and now what I can do is rewrite this equation in exponential form, because it's a simple logarithmic equation. It's just the log of something equals something. So when I rewrite this in exponential form, what I get is 2x divided by x minus 3, the thing inside the log, equals the base raised to the power that equals the value of the log. So if you look back at some of the early, earlier videos where we were rewriting log equations in exponential form and vice versa, that's all I'm doing here. And now we've got an equation that doesn't have any logs left in it. Now we just use our normal techniques. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x minus 3. I want to do that on the left-hand side. The x minus 3s divide out, and I just get 2x. On the right-hand side, I get 10 times the quantity x minus 3. That gives me 10x minus 30. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and add 30 to both sides. I'm going to do that. I get 30 equals 8x. And so that means that the x that I'm looking for is 30 divided by 8. That's our answer. One more example here. Now we've got 3 times the log base 2 of x minus 1 plus the log base 2 of 4 equals 5. We see multiple logs here, so our plan should be to try to combine these into one logarithm. When we see this plus sign, we might be thinking that we can use the log rule that says that the sum of two logarithms is the logarithm of a product. But we don't quite have the sum of two logarithms here. We have this 3 here which is going to interfere with us trying to use that rule. So the first thing we have to do here is take care of that 3 using the rule that says that a number times a logarithm, we can bring that number up and write it as a power. So using that log rule, we can rewrite this as the log base 2 of x minus 1 cubed plus the log base 2 of 4 equals 5. Now we have two logs added together, so now we can use the other log rule that says that the sum of two logarithms is the logarithm of the product. And now, just like the previous example, we've gotten this to the point where we just have a simple logarithmic equation. The log base 2 of this complicated expression equals 5. So all we're going to do is rewrite that in exponential form, and when we do that, we get x minus 1 cubed times 4 equals 2 to the fifth. Now, we can rewrite the left-hand side as 4 times x minus 1 cubed. 2 to the fifth, we can figure out, is 32. So now we've just got to isolate x. Again, we've got an equation that doesn't have logs in it anymore, which is really the goal. Whenever you see an equation with logs in it, you want to get rid of the logs. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. That gives us x minus 1 cubed equals 32 divided by 4 turns out to be 8. Now we're going to take the cube root of both sides. When we do that, on the left-hand side, we just get x minus 1. On the right-hand side, the cube root of 8 turns out to be 2. And then we just have to add 1 to both sides, and the answer that we're looking for is x equals 3.